Goal plateaus. Okay, we talk about them in fitness all the time when we plateau and we're not losing weight or gaining muscle, but did you know it can happen in your regular life focus goals all the time? Well, I am going to show you how to identify a goal um, plateau in your life and also what to do about it and how to make sure that even when things seem to be plateaued and you're just straight lining and you don't know when it's just gonna like start going up, I am going to show you how to continually progress on your goals and make sure that no matter what, you are always progressing towards those goals. So. The other day I was driving in my car and something you need to know about me, I talk to myself in the car all the time. It's why I love the car and I just talk to myself, I think through videos and I was talking to myself about my goals and I realized that I was in a goal plateau and I don't think that goal plateaus are a bad thing. I think they're just something that you know you need to know how to navigate because they can be discouraging if you don't realize what they represent in your life and how that is just preparing you for a massive, massive breakthrough. So my first tip for you on how to get through your goal plateaus is number one, learn how to identify when you're in one. Like I mentioned, it's vitally important to recognize when you're in a goal plateau because if not, you're gonna just feel like nothing's happening and your goal isn't working. When in reality, you are in what I like to call goal limbo. This area of time between when we start and when we actually accomplish that goal. And it can be days, hours, weeks, months, years. And that is what is really hard is when it comes to these life changing and altering goals, no matter what, you're going to hit a goal plateau. So realize that, recognize that, and how you know that you're in a goal plateau is you're working hard towards a goal and you're seeing maybe a little bit of progress, but it's just out there in the future, especially goals where it's actually not humanly possible to do it faster than, you know, the two years that you need to graduate school or, you know, like there's a certain time frame that you have to hit and that is when you know for sure you're in this goal plateau of I'm working towards it. I know it's good for me. I know that like something's got to be happening, but I'm not seeing results. That my friend is how you know you're in a goal plateau. So you're in a goal plateau or you think that you might be in this goal limbo of sorts. My second tip is going to really help you out and that is to celebrate little wins. This is so vitally important because when you are in goal limbo, you can get so discouraged and your goals either feel like they're not happening for you and you're not seeing the progress that you would like to see or they're just so far away that it's easy to say I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to do it my daily disciplines today because I got all this time to do it later or you get just discouraged and give up on it. Celebrate little wins. Take the time to recognize how far you've come. It's always amazing to look back and see maybe some old things that you thought were hard that now are so easy for you to see progress in you know, your weight gain, your charisma, your skills that you're working on. That is what is so tricky about this goal plateau is that you've got to stay focused. And one way to do that is to celebrate the little wins in your life. So take some time to recognize how amazing you are and how empowering that these little steps are being in your life. Because no matter what the goal plateau is, it looks like it's straight, but in reality, it's like 5% grade, right? We're always just like barely going up. And so don't forget that. Tip number three is for anybody that is in a goal plateau that is like time-based and these goals that you just can't speed up regardless of how much effort you put into it. And that is to focus on the big payoff. Now, it's so easy to get discouraged, especially when your goals are far away. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of five-year plans. And that is because a five-year plan puts right in front of your face the big payoffs that are waiting for you every year. And by the end of the five years, all those things are pretty freaking amazing. And that is because when you can see these goals and when you can see the big highlight of this year, I'm going to accomplish this goal so that in three years I can do this, it helps you stay focused and motivated. Right now in my life, one of the big life-changing goals that's out there that I just cannot rush is that we're trying to get my husband's master's degree, right? 
And so this is just something that I feel like eats away at us. It's hard to go to school every night and it just feels so far away, right? But if we were to give up now, that goal would be even further away. And so that's the big payoff that we think about is, you know what, when that goal happens, our life's gonna go from like here, one level up, right? That's the beauty of these plateaus is before you know it, change just happens and it happens fast and furious because you have all this work behind it. And then boom, you get that master's degree, you put in the time at work, you graduate high school, you graduate college, and boom, your life is on a whole nother level. It's not even like you just like went up, it's like boom, I'm playing on a new field. And so think about that and focus on that when you are feeling discouraged by how long this goal plateau and goal limbo might be for you. Okay, if you wanna get past a goal plateau, tip number four is vital, and that is that consistency is the key. So like I talked about, when it comes to major life goals, we feel like nothing, 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 we're on this plateau, we're on this plateau, and then boom, a month happens, change happens, we get that promotion, we you know graduate, we do something, we buy that house, and then boom, our life's on a new level. Okay, we could not get to that new level if it wasn't for the consistent daily disciplines that we practiced every single day or that you worked on every single week and month of years and years and years or you know every day for hours and hours and hours to help you get to that next level life is amazing and there was a saying and i wish i knew where it came from but i believe it with all my heart that said the universe and god will not reward you with anything that you're not prepared for and I have thought about this so often when I wanted to speak on like larger stages or have, you know, more people notice my videos. It's just that I'm not there yet. And when my talent and when my skill and dedication gets me to that level, the audience will come. And that is the same with your goals is that you have to earn it and you earn it every single day. And so don't forget that, that consistency is the number one key to getting through these plateaus. Because if you take your foot off the pedal, Honey, you are gonna be in that plateau even longer. So just be consistent. Don't overwhelm yourself or burn yourself out, but just practice the daily disciplines because when your life explodes to that next level, you're like, oh, wow, what did I do? And you realize it was all those little things that you did every day, they really did add up. Okay, my last tip, tip number five. This is my favorite tip, hands down. It is the key to making it through goal plateaus and that is to learn to love where you are right now yeah that probably like stung or like some of you thought like i'm exiting out of this video now that's a little like hippy dippy for me hear me out i used to be that person that would push it and push it and push it and push it and power through and drink like these horribly nasty green smoothies as like a perfect example because you know i had all these fitness goals and i realized it wasn't sustainable and it wasn't something that was bringing me joy in my life. And so we really don't have a ton of control over when our goal plateau and goal limbo is going to end. And if you feel like what you're doing right now is not sustainable, it's not bringing you joy and you aren't in love with your life, then change something, my friend, because if you cannot learn to love your life right now, even if you get to that next level, the joy that you feel in accomplishing those goals is only going to last for a little bit. Um, perfect example, you know, if you feel like, oh, once I, you know, graduate college or buy this car or do these things, you know, I'm going to be happy. You might be happy for like a month as you're like, oh my gosh, I'm done. I really did this. Look how nice all my stuff is. And then it's just gonna go back to your everyday living and then guess what? You're gonna have a new goal, a new focus and a new way that you're trying to elevate your life. And so if you haven't learned to master, like I love what I'm doing every single day and I love the process of getting my goal, then what's the point? There's not gonna be joy, there's not going to be that fulfillment of I am loving the life that I'm creating. And so my challenge for you is to find the joy in every single day. Um, for me, I realized that like my crazy insane fitness goals that I was doing about four years ago, ago, I can't talk, <laughs> I was doing four years ago, they weren't sustainable and I was just feeling so tired and burnt out and I felt like food was the enemy and I just realized that like 
that wasn't the life that I wanted to live. And if it meant that I was five pounds heavier, then okay, you know, like, I would rather have a lot more joy than, you know, be five pounds skinnier, which might not even show to anybody else, but to the scale. And so I challenge you to look at your life. And if you aren't loving the process, and if you are feeling so overwhelmed by it, to rethink, because you can still find a way to progress on your goals, get past this goal limbo and this goal plateau with joy. And you can do it like with little, tiny, simple changes. So that is my challenge for you on this last step. One last like extra tip to tip number five is it might just be a mindset change. I have finally, like I feel like literally this month had the breakthrough that time will be what it is and I need to be happy now and love my life now. And if my goals take me one month or 10 years, it doesn't matter. And so that's the place I'm at right now. I am learning to love the process more than I am the actual end result. And so that is the secret to getting through this fifth tip is just changing your mindset. It might actually take you changing some real life circumstances in your life, but learning to love every single day right now because if you don't you're just wasting joy that you could be feeling it's totally free to be happy and so why not be happy in the pursuit of the best life that you can possibly live so that is like my extra little bit i'm gonna jump off my soapbox and get on with this rant okay babes those are my tips on goal plateaus and how to break through them because there have been so many times in my life where i felt like oh, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and then boom, your life changes, and then boom, your life changes, and it's only possible because you handled the plateau, you handled goal limbo well. Because if you don't, that's where people get discouraged and where they get really lost, and where they feel like goals don't work for me, life isn't working for me, because they gave up right before that change happened for them, or they gave up and got lost and they're just kind of wandering through and they're not sure how to make it to that next level. Well, I hope you loved this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please leave me some comments. Give me some of the things that you guys are going through. Let me know what goal limbos you feel like you're in and I would love, love, love to hear some of your big goals and how you're looking for your life to change. So leave those down below. I cannot wait to read them. And I, of course, will see you in my next video. So Abby J out.